beautiful people and welcome back to my channel uh, for today's video i wanted to show you guys some of the recent products that i discovered at the dollar store so yes dollar store makeup i found this brand called believe beauty and um they have like a whole little section for it at dollar general um, and I had noticed them since a while back that like everything looks really fancy like the packaging is nice It looks like you know drugstore makeup and it's super affordable you guys like I think the most expensive thing is like five or six dollars So I was like, you know what? That's super affordable and like why not? You know, let me give it a try so I finally went and I picked up some stuff I had to buy as much as I could um, you know to create a look so I'm gonna be showing you the product. So let's go ahead and get started. So for today's look, I don't really know what I'm going for yet. To be honest, when do I ever know what I'm going for? But um, so first things first, this is the foundation. And so I went ahead and I got this one. So this is the bottle. Um, it says medium to full coverage. The shade soft beige. I just tried to match it as best as I could. And this was five dollars it was five dollars so i don't think that's bad um next thing that i got the eyeshadow um i went for a neutral because you know i love my neutral shade this is the nearly nude that's the name of a palette so you get your two mattes so this one right here and then this one get your really pretty shimmers and like these are actually like really pigmented like look at that I thought that was really nice. Like that's, honey, that's pigmented. So I'm really excited to try this out and see how it blends. This was, this was $5. So $5 as well. Um, the next thing that I got that I actually have been using because I needed one and it's super good, dude. Dude, it's super good, guys. I have not stopped using this since I got it. Um, this is the Believe Beauty uh, Translucent Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium. They had a translucent one as well, but I just kind of wanted to try the color one. And honestly, it works out so nice. Like, I get no creasing. Guys, this is really, really good. I would highly suggest getting this. This was $5 as well. Next thing that I bought was these two concealers. And I picked up two shades because I didn't know like which one I was gonna go ahead and like. And it's called You're Covered. It's in the shade Ivory, so pretty light. And I got a second one. This is in the shade Beige. And these were, these were $4 each. Next thing that I picked up was these two eyebrow pencils. This is what they look like. It's like a little top, so I just feel like it makes it look a little bit fancier. Um, and I just think the packaging is really cute guys like it doesn't look cheap and then the other shade which is for me I got dark brown. So this is what Dark brown looks like ew. That's such an ugly way to show you. <laughs> I'm sorry Um, so this is what dark brown looks like. I'll be using this one for my eyebrows because my eyebrows are dark and these were these were three dollars each the thing that I got was this brush right here, which is an eyeshadow blending brush. So, um, really soft, feels a little heavy, and I'm really excited to try this out and see how it blends. This one was also $3. Last, actually, no, not last. I also picked up these two babies right here. This is going to be an eyebrow gel. So I got the shade Dark Brown. They also have clear, but I like mine tinted just because I feel like I it's easy for me to... Um, fill in my areas that are not that you know nice like for example here so this was three dollars the next thing was going to be they have really nice lip liners you guys these are three dollars as well and i got this foundation brush and this one is so good you guys like, i've been using this one non-stop since i bought it um it feels heavy the bristles are really soft and it blends everything so nicely this one was five dollars so I'm really excited to get started. So, let's see what we create. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my foundation. So um, I also picked up this sponge from them. This one was $3. Um, it's pretty huge. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with that to do my concealer. But for my face, I will be using the brush. So look at that. Like the packaging is so nice, you guys. Like 
tell me this looks like it came from the dollar store i don't think so like it even has a pump not even the fit me foundation which is like from maybelline that one is really nice as well too that one is five dollars and it doesn't even have a pump like i love it when it has a pump because when it's like you have to pour it just gets messy um so i'm gonna go ahead and just pour some of that on a flat brush and put it on my face Looks. So now I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with the brush. It blends really nicely, actually. I like that it doesn't like dry up, dry up. It doesn't dry up super quickly. So you have time to kind of like, um, you know, take your time with it and not feel like you're super rushed i've had some foundations where like you put it down and right away like if you don't blend it it starts to get like really patchy actually not bad you guys i think it has pretty decent coverage um you can still see a little bit of my acne here but honestly like it blends out nicely i'm gonna go ahead and do a second layer just because you know it is medium to full coverage so I want to see if I can kind of build it up a little bit more and if it's not going to, you know, get cakey or start to look nasty. Honestly, I like this foundation. It feels like it definitely covers. Like if you build it up, it gives you good coverage. Um, I can start to kind of tell right now that the shade is a little bit white for me, if you can see, but... We're gonna bronze that up, so don't even worry about it. Um, but it feels nice. Like, I put on two layers, but it doesn't feel like I have two layers, if that makes sense. So far, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the concealer now. Ooh, that's pretty white. Honestly, yes to this concealer. Mm -hmm. It blends so easily. Okay, so now that we have the concealer all down, I'm going to go ahead and use the darker shade and see if I can get away with contouring for this. This is in the shade Beige. And we're going to see because it's pretty tan. Oh yeah, I can definitely contour with this. I did not even know it was going to be that tan. Bro, this honestly blended out so nicely and fast. I'm like shook. Oh my God. Yo. Okay, I'm definitely gonna start freaking using this to contour, to cream contour. Like y'all see how easily that blended? I would definitely say though, um, the sponge is a little annoying. So I probably won't be using it too much because it's way too big for my face. But I mean, it gets the job done. It blends nicely. Yes. Okay. So now that we have contoured and highlighted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set everything down with the powder right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. And like you literally don't even have to use that much and it sets so nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is the Matte and Poreless. I am shade 130 Buff Beige. So I'm just gonna take my big fluffy brush and set my face down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush for blush um i was not able to find one either so 
but I do have one that's from the dollar store as well that's super good. This baby was $4. You get two blushes and two highlighters and they're bomb. So I always go ahead and go with this shade. As you can see, I love the highlighter as well. So I'm just going to do a little bit of blush and it's like the perfect pink shade like it's not too exaggerated it doesn't look too pink it just gives you like a nice little pretty pink blush and so now to the fun part i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows i like to keep them pretty natural so i'm gonna go ahead and just try to work with this pencil oh that's like super creamy <gasps> I am not even really like, I'm not putting any pressure down and it's like already there. <gasps> I do feel though, like if your hands shake and you don't have like a light hand, this can get like blocky really quick. So be careful with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the brow gel and just kind of brush them out as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my other brow real quick and then I'll be right back to do some eyes with you guys. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the brows. Um, I will say I would probably give them like a 3 out of 5 stars. Um, I think it's a good pencil like... If you know how to do brows and you have like a good steady hand, then it's good for you because it's hella creamy. So it goes on like pretty quick, but like you have to have a light hand with it. So um, I didn't like the fact that, you know, like when I'm doing my natural brows, like I just go in really quickly and like, you know, it's fast. And with this one, I feel like I had to like go slow and I did have to clean up a little bit down here. I will say with that, um, I'm trying to do a quick brow. This would probably not be what I go for. Um, so I would just say, honestly, try them out and see how you like it. Yeah, that's that. Now moving on to eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and use this palette right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out and see how it blends. I'm super excited. Um, I'm also going to be using their um, uh, blending brush. We're going to go ahead and try that out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here. The shades don't have names. So I'm just going to start off with that and try to make that my transition shade. So I don't see anything. <gasps> the blending brush blends out pretty nicely i did wish though that that specific um palette had like a better transition shade because i feel like i'm gonna have to use a transition shade from another palette to kind of get it started and you don't really want to be doing two palettes you know you kind of want to just go to one and like get it done so I'm gonna go ahead and go into this shade right here and I'm gonna try to darken it up a little bit and see what that do. So let's see. And I wanna try to like pack that into my crease and kind of build on from there. Okay, so not bad, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and do since I'm wearing a little bit of pink, I'm gonna go ahead and do this shade right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that with my finger. And, ooh, that's pretty pigmented. And I'm just gonna pat that on there. Ooh, yes. I definitely like the shimmer shades a little bit more than the matte one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back into this shade right here and just darken up the outer corner. Like if you want like a quick, like everyday look and you don't want to use like your, you know, like high end or more expensive palettes, like this is a really nice one to grab. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I know it looks a little different in here now. The lighting like completely changed, but it got dark outside like really quick. Not even because it's late, it's just that it's been kind of raining all day. So um, I pretty much went ahead and finished my eyes. Um... I went ahead and kind of did like a 
smoked out like liner thing going on um i just wanted to try it and be a little bit more dramatic um the freaking like shimmer shades though are like super buttery like, i honestly would probably pick this up more for the shimmer shades than the matte so i think they're really nice um now i'm gonna go ahead and do my lips for this, I'm gonna go ahead and use their, uh, they have really nice lip liners and they're really cheap. They're only $3. This is in the shade Hint of Plum. I really like the shades. They're pretty creamy as well. I haven't used that one in like a couple months and I didn't have the cap on it. So there was a little bit more dry, but I always like to put a little bit of like gasoline or anything on my lips before I even put anything on. So it just makes it easier. And I'm just gonna go ahead and top it off with this lip gloss right here, which is um, from Adest New York. And um, it doesn't have a shade. It's just a really pretty like brown shade. I'm just gonna put that on top. I know that my lighting keeps like changing in here. Sorry. Um, now that I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and just put on some uh, mascara. This is their Voluminize Mascara. It was also $5. It's not bad at all. Like you can already see a difference. I feel like with eyelashes, like just like eyebrows, there's always that one stupid side. This is my stupid side. I always struggle with this one way more than this one. So, yeah. So guys, this is pretty much the finished look. Um, honestly, I am like pretty surprised. I think the products were actually way better than I expected. Um, top favorites, I would definitely say the foundation is super nice. Um, as you can see, like, it's pretty smooth. It doesn't cake up when you do layer, which I love. Um, I think it's really nice, especially if you're gonna do, like, you know, for everyday makeup and you don't want to spend, like, you know, 20 or 30, 40 dollars on a foundation that you're gonna be using every day. This is definitely a must. Um, another favorite I will definitely say is, um, the concealers, you guys. The concealers are super nice. Um, they are pretty full coverage. They blended like super well. And um, honestly, like I am shook at how nice it was to contour with this freaking concealer. Like this was like, it shook me. I am like super shocked right now. It was amazing. And also the foundation brush, you guys. Like this is $5 and it did the job so well, you guys. So I would definitely recommend. Um, like I said, the only thing that I didn't really like was um, the eyebrow pencils, but that's just my opinion. I would definitely try them out. Um, another thing that I really liked was the mascara. I mean, honestly, like the mascara looks pretty nice. Like my eyelashes are not super long, but you can definitely see them. Um, I didn't struggle like applying it or anything like that. So I would definitely give a, a try because I usually go for false lashes, but I didn't. Anyways, um, the eyeshadows were really good as well. Like I said, the matte ones are, it's not like the easiest thing to, uh, blend out but it's definitely not hard you just kind of have to take a little bit more time so i don't think it's horrible for a dollar store palette um i definitely thought it was going to be like super chalky like there was going to be so much fallout it was not even going to be pigmented and as you can see like that is not the case i think i found some pretty good stuff i mean for the dollar store i only spent like 30 dollars. i don't think that's bad i would definitely give these guys a try cheap good products hit up your dollar general and let me know i hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry if i talk too much but i just like to explain myself so go ahead and make sure you like and subscribe bye